Namaste everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be focusing on some hip opening. We do a lot of sitting throughout the day. There's a lot of binding going around in the lower back. So let's alleviate that. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and bell notified to get uh, notified of all the other videos that I'm going to be releasing. Okay, so let's start off here. Let's come to this, uh, come to the top of our mat with the feet together. Lift all 10 toes, keep those knees gently bent through here, and then go ahead and drop all 10 toes. Gently bend into the knees, hyperextend them to get a little bit of engagement in the legs, then just release the knees so those legs stay engaged. Belly pulled in, pelvic floor lifted. Let's lift that chest up and proud. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Let's bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, draw that belly towards the spine. Exhale, continue to pull that belly. Inhale, and exhale. We're going to get started here with Surya Namaskar Vinyasa A from the Ashtanga Vinyasa Discipline. And then we will uh, go into B with a little bit of a variation. Okay, here we go. Inhale, arms straight overhead. Belly pulled in, chest lifted, press the little fingers together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Looking forward, bringing the weight forward to the balls of the feet. Exhale, come into high plank. Good, belly pulled in, hold here. Drop the knees if you need to. Lower down into a low push-up position. Inhale, press through the arms, lift the thighs out, pressing into the tops of the feet, looking up. Exhale, look behind you. Good, we're going to hold this here for just three breaths today. Inhale, exhale for one. Really make sure those elbows are ro uh, rotated outwards. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. And inhale, exhale, five. Bend the knees, look in between the hands, step the right foot forward, step the left foot forward, come into flat back. Exhale, drop the head down, let the head hang heavy. Scrolling the spine up, three, two, one, arms lift straight overhead. And some of the hands back down to the sides. Let's do one more round here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, looking ahead. Exhale, into high plank. Drop the knees, check that out a bit. Inhale, into upward facing. Rotate those elbows inwards for upward facing dog. Exhale, rotate them outwards. That way your rotator cuff gets a little bit of extra attention. Look up towards the navel, press through the hands. Inhale, exhale, one. And if you need to, you can always keep the knees a little bent with the heels raised. It's not a problem. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Bend the knees, look in between the hands. Step the right foot forward, the left foot forward, come into flat back, looking ahead. Exhale, drop the head all the way down. Scrolling the spine up one vertebrae on top of the next three, two, arms lift straight overhead. And some sleepy. Hands back down to the sides. Okay, we're going to come into Surya Namaskar Vinyasa B. And a little bit different if you've done this before, but I think you'll be able to follow along. Let's first come into Utkatasana. Sit back into the heels, dropping the hips, release your hands down to measure, just to the fingertips, lift the arms up, belly pulled in, exhale, forward fold, looking behind you, inhale, flat back, exhale, come into high plank, 
Lower down, Chaturanga. See if you can keep your knees off for a full push up here, upward facing. Exhale into downward facing. Bring the heels to a V shape. Right leg comes through and between the hands, lift the arms straight overhead. Hold. Exhale, interlock the fingers behind the back, forward fold to the inside of that right thigh, straightening the arms straight overhead. Good. Inhale back into warrior one. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Exhale, high plank. Good, so it's just like that. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Exhale, downward facing. Heels. Left leg, arms lift straight overhead, hold, exhale, interlock the fingers, inside fold to that left thigh, inhale, arms back overhead, exhale, high plank, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Let's hold this for five breaths. Rotating those elbows upwards, pulling the armpits towards each other. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale two. Make sure you're straightening out of the arms, but not crouching into the shoulders. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale, five. Bend the knees, look in between the hands. Come forward. You can jump here if you wish. Try to land softly. Come into flat back. Exhale into forward fold. Sit back into the heels. Drop the hips back behind you. Arms lift. Samasthi Dihi. Coming back into Utkatasana for round two. Inhale, drop the hands, sit back into the hips, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold, two. Inhale, flat back, three. Exhale, high plank. Jump back if you wish, and drop the knees if you need to. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, into upward facing dog. Exhale, into downward facing dog. V the heels, heels come to that V shape, right leg comes through in between the hands, arms lift straight overhead for warrior one, hold, exhale, interlock the fingers behind you, humble warrior, coming down, bringing the head down to the inside of the right foot, inhale, the arms straight overhead, looking up, exhale, come back into high plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, into downward facing. Bring the heels to that V shape again. Let's bring that left foot forward. Arms lift straight overhead. Hold here, hips come low. Exhale, hips stay stationary. Interlock the hands behind the back. Straighten the arms. Extend the arms back. Inhale, lift your torso. Lift the arms back up. And high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale in two, downward facing. Whew. Holding here for one. Holding for two. Holding for three, continue to pull that belly towards the spine, pressing out of the hands. Four. Inhale, exhale. Five. Bend the knees, look in between the hands. Jump the feet forward, up. Flat back, looking ahead. Exhale, drop down. Sit back into the heels, drop the hips. Utkatasana. And Samasthiti. Good. Take one deep breath here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to the waist. 
Belly pulled in, open up the feet 90 degrees and 90 degrees from the heels. Chest up. Now, exhale, forward fold, keeping a gentle bend in through the knees. Nothing stays locked out. Release the hands to the big toes. Inhale, looking forward, reaching the top of the head forward. Exhale, let the top of the head hang heavy, looking behind you. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep that belly pulled towards the spine. Keep pressing through that big toe. And one. Inhale. Flat back. Looking ahead. Both hands come underneath the feet to the back of the wrist. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Keep leaning forward into the balls of the feet. Inhale, exhale, three. Lifting that tailbone taller and taller. Four. And five. And release the hands Whoa. to the waist, come to the flat back. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Make sure that you stop halfway during your practice. You've been spending 10 breaths in that pose and you don't want to come up too fast. I'm going to burn off some heat through here and we'll get started with our flow for today. Feet together. Bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest. Good. And here we go. Inhale, arms straight overhead. Exhale into forward fold. Inhale into flat back. Exhale, come into high plank. Belly pulled in, check that out. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale into downward facing. Okay, let's bring the heels to that V shape. Right leg comes through in between the hands. Now keep the hips low through here. Stretch the left arm forward, up, and around. Good, coming into that warrior two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. And inhale, exhale, one. Now bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest. Straighten the right leg, open up the left foot so it's to that back left corner, and come into a low lunge through. You can bring your hands down to the mat, but we're really trying to focus on opening up the inside of that right thigh. Hold here for five. Hold for four. Hold for three. This is called skandasana, side lunge. Two. And one. Now press out of that back leg again. Come back into warrior two. Hold. Right hand to the inside of the right foot. Left arm 45 degrees. Belly pulled in here. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Keep those hips moving lower and lower. Three. Four. And five. Looking down. Place the right hand to that right ankle. Straighten that right leg, but don't lock it out. Look up to that left hand. Inhale, exhale for one. Try to remain still through here. Inhale, exhale two. And don't place all your weight on that right hand. It's got to have a little bit of lift to it. Three. Inhale, exhale four. And inhale, exhale five. Look down, bend into that right leg, come back into warrior two, hold, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. If at any time you feel as though you need to take a break, go ahead and hit pause and start again when you're ready. V those heels, left leg comes through in between the hands, open up the right foot so it's 90 degrees 
Bring the right arm up and over. So warrior two, left leg. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, one. Bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest. Straighten through the left leg. Open up the right foot so it's to that right side over there and flex that left leg. Coming into Skandasana, left leg. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, exhale for four. Try to remain up through here. Don't try to come lower and lower. Try to raise your spine. Three, two, and one. Okay, come back into warrior two by straightening that back leg, lunging into the left hold. Left hand to the inside of the left foot. Right arm to 45 degrees. Here we go. Inhale, exhale for one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Straighten the right arm. Left hand to the left ankle. Straighten the left leg. Right arm straight overhead. Inhale, exhale for one, two, three, four, and five. Coming back into that warrior two pose, hips in line with each other, extending through the arms, hold, and high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, and two, downward facing. Pull downward facing dog here. Inhale, exhale for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, drop the knees real wide. Bring the toes together, sit back to the heel. Just rest here, allowing the top of your head to touch the mat, relaxing through the arms. Holding here, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk yourself up. Excellent, now bring your knees together through here. And we'll rest our hands into our lap right here with the thumbs touching, left palm resting in the right palm, tips of the thumbs are touching. Go ahead and softly gently close your eyes. Try to connect with your heartbeat through here. Allowing that soft, gentle awareness to come into the body. We work so hard to develop this almost military-like discipline when it comes to our asanas, but it's important to go to the opposite end of the spectrum, to just be aware and to be easy. We work with both the, the hard discipline and the easy relaxation. Softly, gently open the eyes. Great. Okay. Let's release ourselves down to our seat, extending the legs forward through here. Now we're going to come into our seated forward fold, and then we're going to come into our various seated hip opening postures. Okay. Belly pulled in, chest lifted. Extend the spine up towards the ceiling. Think about rounding out the neck, pressing the chin to the chest, but lifting the spine. Hold here for three. You can always bend the knees in if you wish. Two. And one. Release the hands to the big toes. Now press the chest to the thighs. Okay? And then slowly, gently, as you keep that compression, extend the legs as far as they'll go. 
while keeping that chest connected. Now look down through here, elevate the back of the neck so the neck isn't crunched. Hold here for one. Hold here for two. If this is too much for you, you can always bend your knees and come to your ankles. Okay, work within your own range. Three, there's no points for first place. <laughs> Four. And five. Let's do two more. Six. And seven. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Beautiful. Let's bring that right foot to the inside of the left thigh, okay? So we're gonna come into this half butterfly position with this right leg. So right leg in, and allow that hip to fall open. And if this is rising up too much and it's kind of uncomfortable for you, take a block or a pillow, any kind of bolster in there so it doesn't pull too much, okay? So, so my hips are square through here. I'm gonna reach forward for my left ankle or my left foot, and I'm gonna come back into my forward fold for Jhana Shirshasana, head to knee pose number one. Hold for one. Hold for two. Hold for three. Hold for four. Hold for five. Hold for six. And hold for seven. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way back up. Send that right foot back to the front. Draw that left foot in to the inside of the right thigh. Good, and always remember, Bolster on this side if you need it. Keep that front knee bent. If it's too much rounding in the back, reach for that right ankle or that right foot. Exhale, drop yourself down. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Inhale, coming all the way back up, sending that left foot to the front. Good. Now, you ready for this? We're going to take both feet to the inside of the thighs. We're going to draw them as close to our inner thighs and our pelvis as we can. Okay? Good. So for right now, let's interlock the fingers over the, over the fronts of the feet here. And I think we all remember this from our childhood days. Start flapping the legs. <laughs> good. Hopefully it brings back some good memories. Keep that spine nice and tall. We'll hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, hold. Keep your left foot where it is. In fact, you can actually bring it a little bit closer and then bring your right leg. Take your right arm, bring it around the top of the right knee just like this. Then take the bottom of your right foot and place it to the inside of your bicep and try to interlock your fingers through here, just like this. Now from here, watch what I do with my lower back. Boom, I try to sit as tall as I can through here, okay? Now with this right foot, make sure it's not sickling out to the side like one of those field tools. Okay, press the foot out and it will go straight into that hip where we need it. Sit as tall as you can and I want you to rock back and forth. It's a very vulnerable pose for many people. Brings up a lot of nurturing feelings. And if it doesn't for you, no problem. <laughs> Holding here for five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Okay, now hold. Bring that left foot and bring it over to your right thigh. <laughs> and then bring that right leg and stack the knees. One knee on top of the other. I'm gonna sit my hips up forward so my knees stack, and then I'm gonna sit back, okay? Now bring your hands just to that top knee, interlocking the fingers over the front of that right leg. Now sit tall through here, sit as tall as you can. Feel that stretch come in through that outside of the glute on both sides. Now sit tall, keep that belly pulled in, start to lean forward. Good. Softly, gently close the eyes. Hold here for one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and release that right leg from the top. Coming back into Baddha Konasana. Let's just do a few more flaps here. That right hip should feel hopefully more open. Hold here for three, two, and one. Okay, let's bring that right heel in. Now with that right arm, we're gonna place that left foot to the inside of the right bicep. The left arm comes to the outside of the left knee, interlocking the fingers. Watch my back, lifting up. Good, sitting as tall as we can. We'll go ahead and go, come into our gentle rock through here. Inhale, exhale for one. Two. Three, four, and five. Okay, let's bring that right foot over to the left glute and we'll stack our knees, one knee over the other, and come into our modified cow face, Gomukhasana. Bring both the hands to that top left knee, sitting as tall as we can, belly pulled towards the spine, begin to lean forward. One. Two. Three. And you can lean forward as much as you want. Try not to lift the seat off. Two. And one. Open the eyes. Bring yourself back up to a seated position. Release that left leg from the left side. Bring that right leg forward. Scoot this. Roll to your right shoulder and release down to your left shoulder. Bring both the knees in. Bring that right leg over the left leg. And drop that right knee over to the left side, extending the right arm to the right, looking to the right hand. One. Two. Slow it down. Three, four, and five. Releasing the knees back to the center, releasing the right leg to the mat, and then bringing that left leg over the right leg. Drop the knees over to the right as you look over the left shoulder, extending the left arm. One, two, three, four, and five. 
bringing yourself back to the center. Release the left leg to the left side of the mat, the right leg to the right side of the mat, drawing the shoulder blades together, palms facing towards the ceiling. Softly, gently, close your eyes. And we'll just relax here for just a few moments. Inhaling through the nose, relaxing the feet. Relaxing the ankles and the calves, the knees and the thighs, the glutes, everything in the hips, drawing the belly towards the spine. Inhale, let it rise away from the spine. Relax the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. Relax the center of your chest. Relax your shoulders. Relax your biceps, your triceps, the elbows, the forearms. Allow your wrists, your palms, and your fingers to release. Relaxing the neck, the throat. Relaxing your jaw, chin, your lips, your cheeks. the back of the head, release the top of the head, a small space between your eyebrows, release, Slowly coming back. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Bring the right arm next to your right ear, rolling gently to your right side. Try to keep the eyes closed here. Press yourself into an upright seated position with your eyes closed. Any comfortable seated position will do. Bring your hands to prayer in front of the chest. We'll close out today's class with three ohms.
softly, gently lift your head. And open your eyes. Namaste to you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time.